Hi, this is Coach Troy from the MLM Financial Opportunity Center. I'm here today to talk to you about, well, life under the pandemic. I'm sure we'll mention some financial tips in this short video, but primarily, I just wanted to touch base with everyone about how you're doing as we move into our fifth or sixth month of dealing with this latest pandemic. You know, one of the weird and sad things about us as human beings is that for some reason, there always seem to be those people that want to try to take advantage of situations. And they just want to make other people feel bad. And these are the people that instead of listening to scientists and, and the best and brightest of us, they listen to those that see everything as a conspiracy and then pass it along to the rest of us as truth and fact when in every single case, it's neither. But as a result of this constant barrage of social media posts and street corner conversations, people who are already worried about the pandemic, economic crisis, race relations in America, just getting through another day, get bogged down with strange and wild tales that cause them to develop even more concern and worry. So today I just wanted to drop a video to let you know that you can make it through these crazy times. Here's five pieces of advice to help you through this time. And number one, and this is probably the most difficult, but jettison those people in your life who are adding to the stress. Clear them out of your social media feeds like Snapchat and Facebook and whatever else you might be on. Block their email addresses, block their phone numbers from your cell phone. You don't need that kind of nonsense in your life. And this can be done quietly, just a click of a button. You could, if you really felt it necessary, you could let them know in a respectful way why you're doing it. I don't need negativity in my life. I'm only keeping those who are positive, etc. But for most cases, it's just as easy to unfollow, unfriend, and block. Now, I know this is tough to do, but if they're causing you stress, if they're literally making you physically and emotionally ill, why keep them around? Now, number two is educate yourself about the things that have you worried. Are you worried about the COVID pandemic? Well, then check out the Centers for Disease Control website. Listen to the local public health department and what they've put out. You know, they have a lot more stuff to, to read and to educate yourself with than Bob down on the street corner does. Don't rely on news sites alone. Not because I think there's fake news or I think there's that issue. But remember, the news cycle is 24 hours a day, every day. And if there's one one hour news conference, well, the next 23 hours are gonna be spent with a bunch of people sitting in chairs on your television screen, talking about what the person said for the one hour news event. Now you're just getting the opinions of people who are not necessarily smarter than you and I talking about things. And oftentimes they're gonna get it wrong. And they do, they can't help it. All of them do bring their own biases and information to the table with them. So go to the source, get the facts from the smart people that know what they're talking about. Number three, be careful how you comfort yourself during these stressful times. Now we all know that there are some people who eat when they're stressed. We know that there are other people who maybe smoke when they're nervous, or they drink alcohol when they're nervous, or they use some other drugs when they're nervous. And all of those things are physically bad for you. But what a lot of what a lot of people don't realize is that people will also buy things when they're nervous. It's called stress shopping. So now people are buying things because they think they might feel better if they had a new pair of socks, a new pair of shoes, maybe if they just got their nails done today, maybe if I got a new set of rims for my car. Well, the problem is they probably don't have that money sitting around ready to use. And so now you're stressed about you're spending even more money than what you had before. Not to mention the stress that comes in today's world if what you're working on is 
uh, of getting stuff delivered to your house. Now you're worried about the delivery. Is it going to be safe to bring it in and open it up? So be conscious of that and, and try to avoid stress shopping as much as possible. Number four, for now, focus on this question. What can I do right now that is the best use of my time, my energy, and my abilities? That really is the only thing that you can do right now, right? It would be great if you could pay off all your bills in a heartbeat. If you could wave a magic wand and all the bills that are piling up during the outbreak were just gone. But you can't do that, right? So to fixate on that and to constantly say, what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? isn't gonna be helpful. What can you do today? Maybe the best thing that you can do today is not add to that debt. So maybe today, what I'm gonna do is not go shopping. And it sounds silly, I know, but maybe that's what you can do. Maybe what you could be doing is using some of the free online education sites right now to learn some new skills so that you can come out later and maybe seek employment with your new skills or turn those new skills into a side hustle that you could do to earn some extra money down the road. But for today, right now, the best use of your time, your energy and your abilities might just be to start looking up what opportunities are out there. I always like the statement because as a teenager, it made me giggle because it sounds a little naughty, but don't shoulda yourself, right? Well, I shoulda be doing this, I should be doing that. Focus on what it is that you really can do today. And finally, number five, let's put some positive energy into the world. Now, for some of you, this is done through prayer. And if you're a religious person, I firmly believe in the power of prayer. But if you're a sciencey person or a I'm not sure kind of person, I can show you research that'll prove to you that taking some time in meditation or in positively envisioning the future can have some real provable benefits to your physical and emotional health. And as you become more physically and emotionally healthy and happy, the world around you will absorb that and begin to make everything a little bit better. But I know that times aren't easy. They're not easy for anybody right now. And none of what I have suggested should be taken as an invitation to ignore the seriousness of events going on around us right now. However, taking care of yourself is the most important thing that you can do right now. So follow these suggestions. And if you have suggestions, share them in the comments for this video. And if you feel the need to talk, you can always contact your friendly neighborhood financial coach and we can talk about what's going on in the world. We can talk about what you can do to prepare yourself going forward. We're always here for you. Here in the Kansas City area, you can call us at 816-285-3131. And we'll change it up a little bit today. Remember, be kind.